Alright guys, today's video I'm going to go ahead and show you how to um, install Phil's Clockwork Mod Touch Recovery Edition. I don't know if you want to say it, I think that's how you say it. Uh, it's basically Clockwork Mod Recovery um, with extras. And I've actually not played with it myself, but I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to install it. This is going to be on my Galaxy Tab 3 7 inch. Um, so if you get lost by any of this, Watch some of my other videos on this device. I have a ton of them. I'm sure it'll get you up to speed. I'll try to go over it pretty good. So we'll see how it goes. But basically, this is your tablet right here. I've got mine powered off right now. Um, what I want to do is I want to get this thing into download mode so we can flash this uh, recovery over to the device. So to do that, once you're powered off, just go ahead and hold your little home button down here. Then you want to hold your volume down. And then you want to hold power and if you just keep holding them from the powered off state it's going to come up to this screen right there pretty simple not not too difficult and it just talks about flashing custom blah 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 basically from here if you want to continue to the next screen you hit you hit volume up or volume down and it'll restart your device so we're going to go ahead and hit volume up and this gets us into download mode so um, one key thing you want to point out here is it's probably a good idea to have a decent battery life when you're doing this. Um, I would recommend for this process. I would only recommend. I mean, probably anything over like 30% battery is fine. Um, so then you want to plug in your cable, but I don't want to do that yet. First, we're going to do this over here. We're going to go ahead and run this drivers right here, and I'll give you guys links to everything. So first thing you want to do obviously is download all the links, and then you can start the process. So. You're going to install these drivers. You're just going to click on them and you're going to click run. I've already installed mine, so I'm not going to do it. Once it's done, it'll just say finish and you'll close it. So it's very simple. Um, once you've got your drivers installed, go ahead and take your cable, hook it to your computer, and then hook it to your device and plug it in. And you can actually hear my computer kind of recognizing it. Um, and it'll install some drivers. Normally they'll be listed down here somewhere. It says they're installing. So let those install. Probably give it a good minute. And then what we're going to do is you're also going to download this file, which is Odin 3.07. And it's going to be a zip. And you're going to extract it. It's going to look like this. Pretty simple. Like I said, I'll give you links to it. So once you do that, open it up. And you're basically, don't worry about the other files that are in here. Just worry about this file. This is the Odin tool. So we're just going to open it up. And some couple of quick things I want to point out to you guys. Uh, first of all, you want to see this right here. Now, this is interesting. Hmm. It added and removed, and it added and removed. Don't really know why it did that. That's a little, little interesting to me. I'm not really sure what's going on there. But uh, you need to make sure it says added, and it says some kind of com port here is what you need needed to say. So I'm going to leave that up there, and then I just want to go back and show you the other file you're going to need. So if you want to install this, this is Phil's Touch, and this is the file right here you're going to, you're going to flash. Um, also, if you have another recovery installed like Twerp or Clockwork My Recovery, like I probably showed you guys to do on this device already, you can actually just download this into your tablet, and then just flash it in recovery, and it replaces whatever recovery you have with Phil's touch recovery and I'll give you guys this link to this zip also along with obviously the MD5 which you're gonna flash in Odin so all we gotta do is come down here to PDA you gotta open up the file wherever you put that uh, MD5 tar file which is right here Phil's touch and just hit open and what it does really quick is it does a quick little check of the file to make sure it's good it looks good to me um, everything looks like it checks out so all you got to do from here is go ahead and just uh, push start and it's going to flash this over to your device and you'll have custom recovery. So let's go ahead and hit start. And you can see a little recovery thing up here. And right start, recovery, little bloop bloop bloop, progress build and it's actually going to reboot the device. Um, so you can let it reboot, that's fine probably should have done another way and we could have actually got it right into recovery easier but we'll let it reboot and then I'll power it off and we'll get back into recovery that way so we're actually done on the computer 
it's pretty much all the processes you guys have to do. It's pretty simple. You can go ahead and close Odin 3 out. Um, we're done on computer, so let's go take a look at this device now, and uh, we'll go over this new Phil's Touch Recovery. It'll be a first for me, so it should be interesting to check this thing out. All right, here you go. Um, obviously repowered. We can actually unplug your cable at this point. It's really unnecessary to have this at this point. And we're just going to go ahead and actually, I'm going to hold down power here. And just do a power off really quick. And hit OK. And just go ahead and power the device down so we can get into recovery. We're going to get into it the manual way, the good old fashioned way of getting in recovery. So once this thing powers off, basically to get in recovery, it's pretty simple. What you do is you hold again the uh, home button, the volume up and power. So let's see if I can do this so you guys can see it. And then as soon as you see the Samsung logo, and you'll see a little blue that says recovery in the top, or you should. I'm going to do it one more time here. I'm going to let go right here. Keep holding, let go power, but keep holding volume up and home. And shut bam. There it is. That is Phil's touch recovery. Um, so I'm going to try to go through this and see how this functions. So first things you can see is you obviously have like a scrolling, some scrolling buttons right here. If you want to scroll through your options, which is kind of cool. And then you have a back button and you have what looks like an enter button. Um, like I said, this is based on Clockwork Mod Recovery, so you can see that right there and the version it's built based on. And you can see you got Reboot System Now, Install Zip, Wipe Data, Factory Reset, Wipe Cache Partition, Backup Restore, Mounts and Storage, and Advanced. So let's uh, see, just see if there's anything else besides Advanced at the bottom. Fills Settings, that's kind of cool. Um, power Options, and Backup. So probably what's really going to be unique is going to be the fill settings and the power options I'm gonna I'm gonna say obviously you do have a battery percentage up there which is really nice I like that that features in there um, so let's go ahead and look through some of these other things if you've ever seen side uh, clockwork mod recovery you've seen basically this whole top section right here that's pretty much standard clockwork mod recovery obviously the button uh, stuff is different normally you use volume button and the, and the power buttons to scroll and select so there's some so there's some differences there um, but let's go see what's in in advanced so we're going to hit enter. Okay, so this is a standard advanced also, um, just like it would be in uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery. But, like right here, normally you have to scroll there and hit enter to go back. Now we can just hit the back button. So just the maneuverability through the menus is definitely much better than uh, standard Clockwork Mod Recovery. So I, I definitely like that feature. Um, let's go to fill settings and check those out. So we have open recovery script, not sure how that works. Aroma file manager, interesting. Reboot uh, system, oh, reroute system with SuperSU built into this, which is, that's really cool. Um, I like that. Verify root on exit, um, but I like that root. Uh, reroute system with SuperSU. That's a very nice feature. Definitely digging that. Um, I like that a lot. Otherwise, normally you have to, you'd have to install a recovery. You have to download um, the SuperSU zip file and then flash it. It's just built in here, so that's just it's just a nice feature. Um, save and restore settings. Reset all recovery settings. So let's just actually let's just see what we have. Verify root on exit. Aroma file. I'm gonna check out Aroma file manager. Um, let's see what this be. It's looking for something in there, and it's not in the on the phone right or on the tablet right now. But not really sure how that functions. But there's some interesting settings here. Let's see if we scroll. GUI preferences and about. Let's go to about and wow, well, it just skipped right through about. There ain't much in there. Oh, right here it says it on the bottom. That's where it says it. But well, that's pretty cool. Just to have talks about what version it is, when it was compiled, you know, what device it's for, right there. So that's cool. I dig it. Um, let's go to GUI preferences and go enter. Uh, basically, you have touch, GUI, menu highlight, scrolling sensitivity. Um, I wanted to see, yeah, you can. Okay, I thought you could. You can actually even scroll like this and not use those buttons. And actually, you could probably even select like this to see touch, GUI, double tap, touch. 
disabled. So that's interesting. So I think I just disabled touch and then I think I have to use the buttons now. Yeah, so now you can hit power, select only, full, and you can scroll through it. Um, but now we're back to touch again. So there's definitely a lot in here that you guys can uh, mess with, which is pretty cool. Definitely want to play with this for a while because there's just a lot of stuff in here I haven't even seen, uh, seen before on a recovery. Change menu colors. Whoa, craziness. Oh yeah, wow, there's all kinds of stuff in here. Battery. Doop, 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 doop. Man, it's all kinds of, all kinds of nutty stuff. Battery and clock color. Hit enter. <laughs> yeah, you could, you could really do a lot in here if you really want to customize this thing up and do uh, all kinds of fun stuff with it. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's see what else we got here. Power options. I'm kind of curious. So, okay, this would be just reboot recovery. Reboot to download mode, which you saw when we installed this. Um, or power off or go back, obviously, but you got the back button right down here. Um, so definitely, there's a lot of customization in this thing. I mean, really more than I can even go through. But uh, if you want just some more options, some more features than normal stock Clockwork Mod Recovery, please check out Phil's uh, Touch Recovery. Very cool, uh, very cool recovery. I'm liking it. I'm going to check it out on some more of my devices. I know you can install this on a lot of devices. This guy does a great job of supporting many, many devices. I just never use it. I've always used uh, Twerp. has been my favorite. Um, but this is nice. I like it. It's got some good features. Definitely a lot more feature rich than uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery. So there you go guys. That's going to be it for me on this uh, recovery system. I uh, hope you guys like this video on the Galaxy Tab 3 7 inch installing uh, Phil's Touch Recovery. Pretty sweet. Catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.